Jake walked slowly into the school building, his heart beating with every step. As he thought about life, love, and destiny, he knew that everything he thought about the world would be forever changed. The fabric of everything he held dear would be unraveled by an illustrious tapestry of woe. He looked to the sky Would you and shut up, Michael? What? You can't narrate me anymore. We talked about this. As Jake took the meatloaf out of the oven, he wondered if he would ever make it in life. Was there too much loaf? Was there too much meat not able to take its loaf form? After a long day of masturbating on Call of Duty, he knew that a nice big loaf of meat was all he needed. But I'm a storyteller, Jake. You can't tell a storyteller to stop telling stories. That's like telling Jason Derulo to stop being such an amazing writer. He's a singer. Get your head out of your ass, Jake. It's goddamn lyrical poetry. Well, you can't narrate me anymore. I'm done. Come on. Guess I'll have to find another muse. But who? I just don't think that global warming is real. They sat there, a group of students who knew that in a few years they would probably never speak again. High school is a fragile time, and as this realization hit, they ignored it as best they could, beating down their reality with adolescent talk and casually homophobic and racist conversation. A futile effort to delay the inevitable. Whatever. Gay? Katie looked into her locker, wondering which things she'd take with her on the next step of her scholastic journey. The clock was ticking. Thirty more seconds and she'd be late to anatomy. But that wasn't really a problem with the way she got through the guys at school. Just act like I'm not here. What should I do? What would Morgan do? Go help your friend, Michael. Jake walked down the street, unaware of the mysterious hooded figure slowly approaching him. Michael sprinted to Jake, knowing that the fifth burrito from Taco Bell was probably a mistake. Huh. Michael saw what was to happen but felt helpless in his role. He knew that Jake could suffer a tragic fate, but Jake also wouldn't let Michael narrate. Fate narrate? <laughs> Crack myself up, man. Damn it, Michael! Help me! I'm so sorry, I should have listened. I didn't believe. Hush. They walked away better friends than before, knowing that even though Michael had a bigger penis than Jake. Dude. I'm sorry.